Hi, Mike here. Another week, another training session, another question, and another video based on said question. I was covering charts in a pivot table session and was asked whether it's possible to exclude certain columns that appear in the pivot table from appearing in a chart created from said pivot table. By default, when you create a chart from a pivot table, all the columns from the pivot table are used in the chart. Now, there are several fairly simple ways to do what the person asked, and in this video, I'm going to show you three of them. As you can see, this pivot table contains two columns of numbers. I want a column chart that displays the revenue generated by each store. So I'm going to select the store names and the revenue figures, and then insert a simple column chart. But because the chart is based on a pivot table, as I said before, Excel uses all the columns from that pivot table. It ignored the fact that I didn't include column D in the selection. One way around this is to create another pivot table containing only the columns that you need. And this pivot table could be placed on a separate sheet, which is then hidden. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select the whole of the pivot table, copy, go into sheet one and paste. I'm not going to worry about the format because, as I said, this sheet will be hidden. I'm then going to remove the cost column from this pivot table by dragging it from the values section back into the main list at the top of that panel on the right hand side of the screen. Now I've just got store and revenue and I will insert my chart and cut and paste it back to the main sheet. As I said, I can then hide sheet one. Even if the underlying data gets updated, when I do a refresh, that chart will update because the refresh command will update all pivot tables, even the ones on hidden sheets. Another way to do what I need is to create the chart based on the original pivot table and then hide the elements that you don't want. So I'm going to select one of the orange bars and then on the Home tab, click on the Fill button and set it to No Fill. Then I'm going to delete the legend on the right hand side. I don't need that and change the gap width. That's the gap between the bars to make the gap smaller and the bars look bigger. And to do that, right click on one of the bars, select Format Data Series. And on the third tab of this Format Series panel, there's the gap width. I'm going to change it to something smaller, let's say 30%. So now the gap between the bars is 30% of the width of the bar. But you'll notice there's still a big gap between the bars. And that's because the orange bars are still there. You, they just have no fill, so you can't see them. The trick now is to change the series overlap, which you can see on the right hand side of the screen in the format data series panel. But I'll explain before I do it what the series overlap is. It's basically how much the bars overlap each other. If I click just to the left of the second bar, you can see that the orange bars as they were are still there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to refill them with orange. And then I'm going to set the series overlap to zero. So what that means is there is no overlap between those bars. If I then set the series overlap to 50%, you can see that the orange bar overlaps the blue bar by 50%. I'll then change the orange bar back to having no fill, but there's still a 50% overlap. So what I'll do finally is set the overlap to 100%, and now one bar, the orange bar as it was, overlaps the other by 100%. In other words, one bar is 100% on top of the other. And it's the cost bar with no fill, so it's invisible. 
The third method is to create a regular chart and not a pivot chart. To do this, start by clicking in a blank cell and click on insert and choose the type of chart you want. Position it and resize it, or you can do that when you've finished. And then go to the chart design tab on the ribbon and click select data. In the legend entry section, I'm going to click on the plus sign. On the Mac, it's a plus sign. On Windows, the button actually says add. But either way, click it. For the name, I'm going to type revenue. And for the values, I'm going to select the cells with the numbers in. For the horizontal or X axis, I'm going to click into that field and select the cells with the store names and click OK. And that's it. Three different ways to exclude specific columns in a pivot chart. Well, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.